Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. One of my favorite places to bring the entire family to find really unique gifts is by Nature Gallery. And I'm here with Jennifer. It's not Lens anymore, <laughs> is it? What is your last name now? It is now Jennifer Burwell. Thank you very much. Because what, you, what happened to your last name? <laughs> I just got married oh, oh, just over a month ago. Thank you. So we love we love the fact that uh, that we can celebrate those types of things with our guests here. And so, okay, by Nature Gallery, tell yes. us about this place for people that haven't been there before. Tell us why it's so. Like amazing. you said, perfect place to bring the whole family. We've got everything that you could ever possibly want from nature. So we've got fossils and minerals and petrified wood and meteorites and then fabulous jewelry, an expansive kids section with items starting at just 25 cents. Um, a crack your own geode machine to bust geodes open right there in the store and be the first person to see the crystals inside. Just a, a really fabulous uh, gallery. We like to make it educational so it's fun and you know more interesting. So come in, I want to tell you about the petrified wood, how it forms, where it's from, how old it is, all that kind of stuff. Um, but just such amazing things and museum quality down to those little tiny collectible items as well. And it's so fascinating and you make it so conversational. This is something where if you're even remote interested in nature it is fascinating and can we also just mention that you have two dinosaurs in this <laughs> store now <laughs> I love this so I've got um, the only replica in the whole gallery is a t-rex skull that's hanging in my window that you can see um, from the ice rink when you're walking around the village if you kind of look up to the second level I've got this massive window and then the bigger thing that's in the window you'll see is a full real dinosaur skeleton of a Struthiomimus, which means ostrich mimic. So it was an ostrich-like dinosaur, probably had some feathers on its arm, long claws, ran really fast, and it's 16 feet long. Its head stands 7 feet tall. It is so, it's so impressive it, to actually amazing. stand next to it. Yeah. So it's worth going in just for that. If not for seeing all of these really cool, interesting things. Now, really quickly, let's yes. let's start, actually, let's start with this. Okay, I asked you what, what this was, <laughs> and then I tried to pick it up. It's so, yeah, uh, yeah. So you can see on the front of it, it's stamped with like the copper information from the periodic table. So it's just kind of fun, nerdy thing. Great paperweight or something cool for your shelf. And it's actually five pounds of copper. I can feel, it feels like Yeah, so everyone looks at it like, oh, what's this? And they go, to, oh my God, what is this? It's really cool because copper is just really dense. Yes, yes it is. I can attest to that. Yeah. And then what do we have over here? Uh, just some beautiful ammonites, really sparkly, colorful. I love that little piece. Um, just nice iridescent shell. Um, ammonites are sea creatures that lived same time as the dinosaurs, you know, hundreds of millions of years ago and before the dinosaurs. Um, died off with the dinosaurs 65 million years ago. So this thing is at least 65 million years old. Um, and I've got a very <laughs> wide variety of those in the gallery. The gallery owner is a big fan of ammonites, so they're all over, small and large, in the it's gallery. It's so fascinating. Like, where else can you get something that's 65 million years old? I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> and then the petrified wood. This is if you thought so 65 stuff. million years was old, then you'll love that this is 225 million years old. What? This comes out of Arizona from private property near the National Petrified Forest that many people have gone and visited before. Um, just really beautiful piece. It's harder than granite. It takes diamonds to cut it. And beautiful decoration. I've also got big tables out of it. People will also put a couple felt feet on this and turn it into like a little, um, like a wine coaster or a cheese serving board or anything that you want to do with it. I would use this for everything yeah. in my house. And I love just... this one. This one's a bit more unique in its coloring, so I wanted to bring it this morning because it's kind of like pinks in there. It's just a little bit more unique. All just by nature. And then, <laughs> and then we have this really beautiful duck over here. So how, how is this made? Last but not least, a little bit more of a home decor item that we have about 100 year old cedar fence posts from old Rocky Mountain homesteads. The fence posts are being removed and replaced with metal ones. So there's an artist out of Colorado Springs that's salvaging these old uh, fence posts. So you get all the natural old weathering and then he uh, polishes them up, carves them up, and turns them into these beautiful ducks, and then just um, whatever, you know, varnish or whatever he does on there. So you even get the um, rusty fencing nail that's still in there. They're just, again, it's it's so unique. It's so much fun. You get to talk to Jennifer. She's going <laughs> to explain all of these really incredible gifts 
to you. So it's like it's more of an experience. So it is, yeah. what are your hours? Um, today we should be open until at least uh, 10 a.m. until 7 p.m. and then for most of December just 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. Okay, stop on in by Nature Galley. You are not going to regret it. It is one of my favorite shops anywhere in the Vale Valley. Coming up next, we'll be closing out the show, so don't go away.